Hi, today I'd like to do a quick review of the uh, Ryobi 18 volt compact radio with uh, Bluetooth. Uh, this is a pretty nifty little thing where by itself it's not something that would make you run out and, and, and get involved with the 18 volt Ryobi system, but if you already have the uh, tools already, this is a really easy no brainer thing to pick up. Uh, I bought this uh, specifically because I live up in a place, or I don't live, but I spend a lot of time up in a place where I don't have power to turn it, uh, plug in a regular radio, and this just actually fits my needs. It's a single speaker. Uh, the audio quality on this is not going to keep anyone at Bose awake at night, but it's clear and it's plenty loud uh, for my needs. The first thing you're going to want to do is uh, in the bottom. There's a spot where a couple of AA, I'm sorry, AAA batteries go. You're going to want to put those in right away because uh, once you unplug the battery, you lose all your presets, which I did once already. So, um, and, I, and also the other neat thing about this is there's finally a reason for these short batteries to exist. Because um, I got about eight hours of playtime off of uh, this little battery right here. And uh, you could probably obviously get much more with the bigger battery. Uh, it's what's neat about it is I don't know if I can, you can see it here, but it's got FM, AM, AUX, and Bluetooth. Now the AUX setting is on the side. There's a little hole right here, and that just takes your regular uh, banana plug, which does not come with it, that you can hook up to you know any audio device. Now right underneath here. Is a USB port. That USB port is for charging only, and it puts out one amp, which isn't that much. But um, you know, you can. I plugged in my phone to it, and uh, Bluetooth kind of eats up phone battery a little bit, so you can operate your phone and send the audio signal to the radio via Bluetooth, and that works just fine. It's just a little bit more monkey around. It'd be nice if you could actually send the uh, music signal through the USB port, but it just doesn't work that way. Once you turn the unit on, it does have a backlit display, and uh, the volume buttons are really easy for you to find. Uh, it does have an internal clock, which is another reason to put those batteries uh, in so that your clock stays running and you don't have to reset the clock every single time. It has 10 preset stations, both AM and FM. And uh, to change between your different things, you just hit the mode button. I mean, it's really basic, straightforward. Uh, I did get excellent signal. Pretty much every station that I get near Seattle, I got all the way across Puget Sound and across the other side of Hood Canal uh, with this guy. So no complaints with the ability for it to pick up stations. I play some music on it, but I always have bad luck with getting flagged for copyright material. Uh, it's got just a little tiny antenna. Really unobtrusive. You can see it's not all that big easy to store away really like it and uh, so far it's been working out good for me